today's video we are going to talk about parameters in sigma so parameters in sigma are basically the customizable field that can be added to a workbook and referenced in formula basically they dynamically replace constant values used in calculation across the workbook so let's begin first i'll show you a snapshot of a parameter that is affecting or that is referenced in a in a bar in a bar chart so basically you can see this select metric so this select metric has two values one is srp and one is vdp so when you select srp metric this bar chart metric display will show you the month wise srp and when you select vdp in this then it will show you the vdp uh, across the months so basically these are the select metric is our parameter and we reference this parameter into the metric display uh, bar chart and they are working hand in hand so let's go to a new page and now from this uh, editor panel select the control element that you want so i want a list type uh, control element and select the control type to be a parameter now for the control element you can select a text box a list a date picker or a switch so basically text box just gives you a box in which you can type a value it can be a number it can be a text it can be a range and then you can refer it into a formula in list you will give more than more than one values and then you can select across these values so i am keeping it to be a list type now for the value source i am creating a manual list and for the value type i am giving it a text type because i have to switch between srp and vdp if you want to switch between numbers like 1 2 3 you can uh, you can select the value type to be a number now for the values i'll give it a name like srp first and second to be vdp and from here you can select the format of this uh, control type like you can allow multiple selection you can show the expanded list you can show the null option i don't want this null option so basically i'm just uh, expanding the list now the control id will be the name of this parameter will which will you refer when you use this parameter you will refer this parameter by that control id so i am just giving it a name like select matrix now you can give it a name like select matrix its id is select matrix 2 and its name is select matrix now this is how we create a parameter now you can you can refer this select matrix parameter in any of your visual where you want them so in our next video we'll talk about referencing a parameter in a formula that's it for this video Thank you so much.